Buckle up, folks, because the 2024 BAFTAs just served up a piping hot dish of royal intrigue, Hollywood glam, and a side of cold, hard snubbery that's too delicious to ignore. And who's at the center of this high society drama? None other than Meghan Markle, desperately clawing for a spot among the stars, only to be outshone by actual royalty and their genuine A-list pals. While Meghan's been out there, throwing elbows and trying to muscle her way into Hollywood's elite circle, Prince William effortlessly shows her how it's done. Seated next to Kate Blanchett, no less, at the BAFTAs, William didn't just occupy space. He owned it. The man didn't have to lift a finger to radiate the kind of royal charm and gravitas that Meghan seems to think can be acquired through sheer persistence and a hefty PR budget. And Kate Blanchett? Oh, she was the embodiment of poise and grace, exchanging pleasantries with William, sharing laughs, and generally being the kind of company one relishes at such events. Her mere presence next to William was a masterclass in subtlety and sophistication, offering a lesson in how true stars shine, effortlessly and without the need for constant attention-grabbing antics. But let's not skate over Kate's deliciously pointed critique of Meghan's favorite spiel, My Truth. Blanchette, with the precision of a seasoned actress delivering her lines, cuts through Megan's overused, self-centered narrative. The truth is the truth, Blanchette asserts, throwing shade so elegantly that it should be considered an art form. It's a stark reminder that in the world of real influence and legacy, Megan's brand of truth is about as valuable as a counterfeit crown. Meanwhile, Megan's attempts to insert herself into Hollywood's inner circles are becoming more farcical by the minute. Her latest plot twist? Trying to buddy up with Taylor Swift, because apparently when royal bridges are burnt, the next best thing is a pop princess. But Taylor, being the savvy icon she is, seems to have left Megan on read. Despite Megan's best efforts, including a handwritten note, how quaint, and a very public display of attendance at Swift's concert, the coveted guest spot on Megan's podcast remains as empty as their promises of financial independence. The contrast couldn't be starker. On one hand, you have William, effortlessly reinforcing the enduring bond between British royalty and Hollywood's finest, a relationship steeped in mutual respect and shared cultural contributions. On the other hand, there's Meghan and Harry by association, whose relentless pursuit of celebrity status has become a spectacle of desperation and misplaced ambition. It's clear that Meghan and Harry have lost sight of what it means to embody the dignity and responsibility that comes with their positions. Instead of leveraging their platform for meaningful impact, they've chosen the path of tabloid fodder and social media spectacles, reducing their roles to mere caricatures of royalty. In the end, the BAFTAs were more than just an awards show. They were a glaring spotlight on the chasm between those who understand the weight of their titles and those who see them as tickets to the A-list. Meghan's Hollywood dream is fast becoming a lesson in how not to royal, while William, Kate, and yes, even Kate Blanchett, remain the epitome of class, leaving Meghan and Harry in their well-deserved shade. <laughs>